name is Epsilon, and welcome to another episode of Useless Cum Laude. Today I'll be talking about absolutes. So what are absolutes? Uh, to put it simply, it's anything that is without condition. They're considered universally valid, total, complete, permanent, and unchanging, uh, constant, etc. And they are not necessarily subject to time or space. And an easy way to identify them uh, in our language would be when people use phrases like uh, all, always, only, never, every, etc. Because phrases like that fail to take into account varying conditions. So probably one of the earliest notions of the absolutes coming to the forefront of philosophy would be back in Plato's day, circa 424 BCE. And Plato's theory of forms asserted that all of the material world, all of reality, was merely an imperfect representation of its true nature. And its true nature, or essence, being that of the forms, or ideas. So these forms do not exist materially. They are not bound by space or time. And this is where I put the emphasis on ideas, as opposed to forms. And these ideas range the full gamut of everything you'd find in reality. Uh, trees, rocks, cars, chairs, shapes, colors. And then it can go on from there to one's imagination. Uh, griffins, hobbits, elves, dragons. From there, it can go on to more abstract ideas. Uh, truth, knowledge, good, evil, etc. So this may sound a little... Uh, absurd, but one of the primary examples you hear about in philosophy is the humble chair. So we've all seen chairs in the real world, and Plato asserts that all chairs possess the nature of chairness. Bear with me. And this chairness would possess all of the characteristics you'd find in the idea of a chair. So from there, we've all seen circles in real life, but none of us have actually seen the perfect circle, or the idea of a circle, which is an absolute perfect circle. And this perfect circle can only exist as an idea. So according to Plato, these forms slash ideas do not exist merely in the mind. They exist in a transcendent reality, extramental, or the real reality of things. All in all, thank you for watching, and keep thinking.